shall we? Uh -huh. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm here today. This is just going to be talking about the social aspects of Team Fortress 2. What I think of them, because I've been getting asked by a few people, so I thought, why not just respond to it in a video? So there's going to be some kind of gameplay in the background. I'm not quite sure of it yet. I'll be honest. I'm just recording this as I am now. So hopefully it's a good gameplay. If it's not, if it's not, it's not. If it's good, I'm good. You know, it's all good. So. Okay, so let's let's read it out here. We're going to talk about the vote kicking situation of Team Fortress 2. Yes or no? Now, that's one big part of it because a lot of people seem to kick AFK people and people trading on normal servers, which is fine. I do agree with kicking people if they are AFK, but I sort of it's it's a 50/50 situation because for one, they could be AFK. They could have gone to they could have gone and get a snack, they could have gone to the toilet, you know, quickly come back and then they're like, oh, we got vote kicked off the server. And I've been, oh, that's happened to me before and I, got, I do get frustrated with it, you know, but it depends how you look at it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of questions to be answered there. Like, there's just so many aspects of it that could be happening. You don't know what he's doing, or she, what he or she is doing behind the screen. You know, you don't know. They could be AFK, like they could be just leaving it on in-game and that's fine. You know, if you want a friend to join, then I don't mind the vote kick situation in that in that um, perspective. So okay, so now dealing with traders is another part of it where there are servers for trading. Okay, I, I am a culprit of this. Sometimes I will join a server to play the game, obviously Team Fortress 2, to, to play the actual game. And um, I'll sort of put up a trade thing saying, you know, I'm selling this. And I do understand if people want to say, you know, there's trading servers for this and blah, 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 blah. And I totally agree with you, you know, I just, which is true, I should, I should actually say to myself, there are trading servers for this, so you should actually go in, onto those servers, and let me know what you guys think of this down below as well, like separate causes of what you guys think as well, and what other videos you want me to talk about. So, that's dealing with traders, and look, I, I have to agree that there are trading servers, but sometimes people get caught up in the motion where they want to play the game as well, but you have to pick which one you want to do, and I'm starting to learn that myself now, so... Dealing with tryhards versus fat engines and taunting. Okay, okay. So this this is one that we have to actually look at. Okay, there's a competitive update. Com there's a competitive update coming out soon, and tryhards can go there if you call it tryhards. This is what this person called it. Um, fat engines and taunting. Sure, you know you can do that in setup time, but I really, I do get frustrated when it's in an intense match and then you just see people congering or doing that dance or whatever that other dance is. You know, like the Kats Kazatsky kick, whatever it is, if I pronounce that right. You know, I do understand getting frustrated with that, but you got to remember, guys, it is a pub, so people are free to do what they want. And believe it or not, that's Team Fortress 2. It's part of the game, you know. it's I, I really do get frustrated with it, and I do tell them sometimes, too, can you guys please play the game? If not, go join a idle server or something, you know. And that's, I don't really do that in servers, you know, when I join a pub, I play the actual game, Payload, Control Point, King of the Hill, whatever it may be, you know, I will play the actual game, so, I do say, play the actual game if you're on that server, and if not, go taunt and be fat NGs, with this, as this guy said, you know, down below, so, you, down below, down to the other servers, like trade servers or achievement on servers, you know, just to, just to joke around with your friends. Okay, so, fun by goofing off, or fun by doing good okay so in a pub match there are in tf2 in general there are a lot and a lot of loadouts so you can there's a joke loadout where let's say for example you're going to use the rocket jumper and the base jumper and the market gardener some people may say that's serious you know if you're really good at it then by all means do it but if you're not good at it i'd say go practice on a maybe payload race high tower you know that's an awesome map for rocket jumping so it's him it seems it seems to be like TF2 deathmatch on that server, so, you know, on that map, sorry. So, why don't you guys go do that there, but also, fun by goofing off. TF2 is a goofy game, okay, I'll admit, it is a really, really fun and goofy game. So, it's really hard to say there, and by doing, fun by doing good is another way. It's, it's like, it's almost saying the same thing, however, it's different, I don't know, it's hard to explain, guys, but now, this is where the end of the video happens, and thank you. Porco Rosso for submitting this to the video section of what you guys want me to discuss in videos, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to read you guys' comments, I always read your comments, I'll always respond to the ones that I think is suitable, you know, I'll always respond to, I love reading them, I love to see what you guys want me 
to produce for you guys. You know what you guys want to see. Um, there'll be discussions in the Steam group again. Please go check that out. There'll be, you know, link in the description to the Steam group there. And oh, we will be putting up another discussion video for, you know, just to comment down there what you guys want to see. And this guy, he has commented, so thank you to him. Hopefully, you guys follow after him. And I hope to see you all in the next one. And one more thing, guys. When you join the Steam group, there will, it's only just army. You'll see the name there down in the description. And there is, I do have my own server. So on the front thing there, the the overview or whatever it is it should have my server there if not just message it there like I get the number one at the top there because I own the um, group oh, I do read all your comments like I said so if you guys want me to introduce something or do something different you know I have my own server there I would like to get a I've said it before but I'd like to get a sort of community behind that so if you join the steam group I will in the future let you guys know when I'm recording I'll say join this server it will have my most likely be my server because well that's where you guys can join, you know, you guys are, you, ha you guys have the IP, so it's all there, it's all in the description as well of the uh, Steam group, and hopefully, if I remember, in the Steam group of the, um, the Steam group of the description in this video, it's, it's kind of confusing, it's a tongue twister, guys. And again, don't forget to comment down below what you guys think of the social aspects of Team Fortress 2, so I hope to see you all in the next one, and I will read all your comments, and I will reply to them as well. See you.